the lie. So I wanted to write a poem of, about periods, so I reached out to people um, and they told me their period stories, good, bad, embarrassing, empowering, what have it, what you, yeah, whatever. Um, so this is called uh, For the Love of Blood. Why can't we talk about the blood? I don't mean, hmm, I'm going to start over. <laughs> okay. Woo! Why can't we talk about the blood? I don't mean the Hershey's chocolate syrup Hollywood blood, or the dehumanized video game blood, or the sickeningly tolerated police brutality blood, or even the willingly give, given Red Cross type of blood. As much as we should be talking about all of the blood, why can't we talk about the blood between our legs? The spilled and flowing crimson that is not deemed as worthy of conversation. Mm, as uncensored not, blood. As uncensored blood from knife wounds, bullet holes, broken noses, and shards of shrapnel. The blood of de the blood of normalized violence. The blood of normalized violence stomached more easily than a natural phenomenon of blooming bodies. We bleed enough in our lives to die ten times over. Tell me how we are not magic. When we endure the invisible hands clenching fistfuls of our agonized insides and wrenching apart our hip bones causing earthquakes in our lower backs, tell me how we are not magic. When, we, when our uteruses speak to each other like huddled red-chested robins reassuring each other when the storm rolls in, when we bleed together for a whole damn week, tell me how we are not magic. Periods are agonizing, yes, don't get me wrong. There is pain and discomfort and bloating and unwarranted blames for bitchiness. And when things go awry, we bleed through our favorite pair of underwear, bleed through our tights and leotard and ballet class, bleed during a presentation on bleeding in health class, bleed and have to stay home from school, bleed freely without having anything to absorb the blood, bleed freely without wanting anything to absorb the blood. It's messy, shit happens, it's an interruption in our week, but life does not and will not stop for the blood, so why would we? We bleed when we're running marathons. We bleed when we're running for office. We bleed at the same time as Beyonce, not anymore because she's super pregnant with twins. <laughs> we bleed when we win world records at the Olympics. And we bleed when we walk across that stage at graduation, which is approaching far too quickly, I might add. We bleed when we nail a perfect triple pirouette on stage. And we bleed watching boats and dolphins in the middle of the Indian Ocean. We bleed while we harvest new life into the earth. We bleed, we bleed, we bleed. And still we do not die. I over time, I'm learning to appreciate my blood. The discomfort reminds me that I am alive month after month to feel it. I welcome the heavy warmth that fills up my abdomen and keeps me centered and wild and woman. So tell me how, after all of that, we are not magic.